already? Okay. So, um, one of the things I want you to think about is the UPS check with this. So, I really want you to think about the, what does the U stand for in the UPS check? Understand. Understand. So, understand what's going on. Uh, and so, in this case, we have a garden. On the inside, we have a brick walkway that goes around it. And we only know the area of the brick walkway. But we're asked to find the dimensions of the garden. So, how can we use the fact that we know the area of just the walkway? Does anybody have to? And I don't want to really, I don't want you to be thinking about specific numbers right now. I want you to think in general, how are we going to isolate this garden, I mean, the, the brick walkway, as far as area? Anybody have any ideas? How can we isolate this right here? Come on, other can we turn the camera on and you all get quiet. Um, if we know that if, if if we take the entire area of the big rectangle, what can we do to the area of the small rectangle? We could well we're, again we're not looking at numbers, we're only looking at the big triangle, little triangle, and we know the area of the triangle, rectangle. So if we take the area of the large and subtract the area of the small, what's left? Just the sidewalk. Does everybody see that? Y'all are normally way more talkative than this. It's kind of bringing me out a little bit. So we have the large area minus the small area is going to equal to what? The walkway. Does everybody see that relation? Remember, math is all about relations. So if I take the large and subtract the small, I get this. Now, what is the what is the uh, what is the area of the walkway? So we know that that's 432. Now, how do we find the area of the large in general? How do we find the area of the large rectangle? Length times width. Length times width. So we need to figure out the length from here to here. Are we given enough? Are we given that specific length? No, are we given enough information to figure it out? Yes. yes. So, this part right here, from here to here, is what? X plus 9. X plus 9. This, we're adding this little part over here, which is how, how far? Four. And we're also adding this little part over here, which is what? Four. Which means that that whole thing can be represented by X plus 17. Now let's do the same thing with the, with the uh, width or whatever we call so, and from here to here, it's what? X. And what is it from here to here? And from here to here is also? So that whole thing is X plus 8. And do we already know the dimensions of the, uh, of the smaller rectangle? X plus 9 and X, right? So let's plug in what we know. So this area here is going to be X plus 17 times x plus 8. The area of the small, or which we're subtracting, is x times x plus 9. And that's going to equal 432. Does everybody see that? OK, so now we have to simplify this. So what's the first thing I'm going to do in order to simplify this? I have to distribute exactly. So x times x is? Six. X times 8 is? 17 times x is, and 17 times 8, you have calculators is, 136. Thank you. Now let's go and distribute the, this thing of this as a negative x, and let's distribute that negative x. Uh, so negative x, or opposite of x times x is, whoops, minus negative x times 9 is, negative 9x, and that equals 432. Now let's combine our like terms. We have x squared minus x squared, which is zero. Those zero out, don't they? So all of a sudden, it's not a quadratic anymore. And we have uh, plus 8x, plus 8x, and negative 9x. 8, 17, and negative 9 are 16x plus 136 equals 432. 
Let's keep solving. So we've got to get the 16 on the side by itself. So we're going to subtract 136 from each side. We get 16x equals, again, to those with calculators, what does that equal? Divide both sides by 16, and we get x equals, did I do that correctly? Check it on the calculator, please. Is that right? Yes. Okay, which means that x is 18.5, so, so the dimensions are 18.5 by 18.5 plus 9 is 27.5. So 18.5 by 27.5.